Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm gonna be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's gonna act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're gonna take out Clemente? Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away, now! Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so... Now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. 
We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. We'll take my car. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel, park in the underground parking lot, and use the back entrance. Fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay! No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. The hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another one. Cross my heart. Payback's gonna feel good, Vito. Ah, you got a point there. Bum, bum, bum. Don't have nobody to call my own. Bum, bum.
bum, bum, bum. Please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Give him the word that I'm not a rover. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. All right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here, so don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? Ah, shit, it's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while, just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Hey! Yeah. Uh, see Ting Lao? Yeah. Well, where is he? He go on smoke break. I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? 
Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilt something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. Was that a yes? These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta... Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that. The... Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow. The blue. And the plus. And the plus. Uh, the red. And matching. The negative. Ne uh, the blue. And cross over here. Perfect. Okay. The hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Clean it, stop half finishing it, and let's go. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Damn, I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Vito, Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified the hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Yeah, come down and give me a fucking Shit. Come in, these guys. Fuck me. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on. Check it out. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get Okay, Vito. Here you go. You shoot like my sister. Fuck you. I'm gonna get you sooner. Going in. Might be more You're fucking Let's dead! Go. I'm almost out 
that the fucking best here. you got? Oh, oh, you're in trouble. care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Ah, buildings like this got soundproof window. Who was so high up? Nobody on the street could have hurt his knee. Let's get to the window watching the platform. You doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh shit! Jesus, okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Okay, get on. We got work to do. Hey, how much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. Up a bit. Hey, back's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna. Oh, 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 We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the... Shit. Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth, but... What the fuck? Oh, shit! Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna oh, die for this! Get away! Come on, Vito! Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! No! I didn't do it again! Are you scared? No! Something must have watered down his martini. Oh. 
I got the right side. <laughs> See you next fall. The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I thought it was rain. Wise ass. I can't see it. Quick, oh. oh. Fuck! There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two... Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi would be in a bad room? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him.
Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left him there. Okay, okay. what about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Hey, Joe, Joe. Don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too! Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this, uh, Vito? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? 
Will old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? Hey, Joe's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Just make a list of what he breaks and we'll settle it up tomorrow. I ain't worried about that. But if the man shows up, they'll close this joint down for at least a week. Hey, that's your problem right now, not mine. Look, just... Go find him a couple of hookers or something. That that usually calms him down. Good luck. <laughs>